Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about a recent tragedy that happened in the Harbor area on September 4, 2023 at 6.30 p.m. 21-year-old Harbor City Reefa gang member Carlos Clos Loera was with his baby mother, 18-year-old Ashley Guzman, and their one-year-old baby sitting in a car in the 1000 block of West 253rd Street. That's when Harbor Area Patrol officers responded to an ambulance shooting radio call to that location. And when the officers arrived to the area of the call, they found Carlos Loera and Ashley Guzman both suffering from gunshot wounds. The Los Angeles City Fire Department paramedics responded and pronounced Loera deceased at the scene. Guzman was transported to a local hospital where she later died from her injuries. As per neighbors who witnessed the scene, the shooter reportedly walked up to the car and fired several shots through the driver's window, striking the couple. During the preliminary investigation, it was determined the one-year-old boy of Loera and Guzman was also struck by gunfire while seated in a child safety seat in the back of the vehicle. Luckily, the child was also transported to a local hospital for medical treatment and released to family members. They were gun shots in the glass as well as the back of the baby seat investigators stated that the murder was gang related and not random the harbor area for decades have been plagued by gang violence gangs that exist there such as the Wemos gang both east and west rancho san pedro and carlos's hood harbor city Rifa, just to name a few the Harbor City Reefa gang originated in the Harbor City housing projects in the 1980s. It was friendly with the Harbor City Crips, an African-American street gang, which often fought with Latino gangs, such as the Rancho San Pedro gang, Wilmington, including the largest gangs around, the West Side Wemos and East Side Wemos, and Torrance, mainly East Side Torrance 13, a small Latino gang. Carlos having a background in being from the Harbor City Reefa gang ultimately cost him and his girls lives. Whoever the killer was that took him out had no remorse or mercy by not doing it when Carlos was with his family. They didn't care and not every gang member trying to earn their stripes is going to think twice about morals. No new updates have been made available or provided but if and when they do become available I'll let you know.